Hey, brothers and sisters. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you and tell you a story really quick of um, something that happened a few weeks ago whenever I was working at this International Pastors event. And it, um, I just, Holy Spirit, <laughs> I glorify you, Father God. I worship you, Lord. I praise you, Father God. And I thank you. Father God, I need you. I need you to help me breathe. I need you to give me strength, Father God. I need your guidance, Father God. Help me to decrease, Lord, so that you can increase. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, at this event, I was, uh, I was able to work. There were pastors from all over the world. And being that if these are pastors, if these were shepherds of the church, right? Of the church building, you know, you expect them to walk with the love of Christ, who are true. But what I saw was not love. And it sh completely shocked me. It completely shocked me. And I'm like, wow, Lord. Like, I mean, I thought people would be just, I don't know. I expected different, you know. And I was really um, very shocked at the way that people behave. Pastors behaved. There was, um, I had to do security for one of the guest uh, speakers they had um, and we had we were given a time a certain time that we were allowed to uh, to open up the floor right so we had like a rope strip across and while this rope strip was across you had they had to stay behind it and there were people on the other side, apparently, that were letting other people in. But we didn't get the okay. We were told at a certain time to open the floor. While we, so we didn't open the floor. And these pastors ended up going underneath the rope and just saying, Well, you know, you can't stop me. I'm going. And just were being just very rude. And I was like, what? I was like, oh my God. Like, I was in complete shock at how they were behaving to us, to, to the workers, to the people. And I'm like, wow. And, I'm, and I said to myself, like, Lord, praise God that I know you. Because you know what? Not everybody shows that love to people. You know, not, and if I was someone, and, and and this is what I told the people there, I was like, wow, like I was just so shocked at the way that they behaved in the way that they didn't obey and that the way that they um, didn't even really show love to, to others. You know, it was more of, I, I, just, I saw a different spirit inside of them. No matter what the reason was, it was very uncalled for. And so I told this woman, I was like, you know, these are the leaders of the church. And they, you know, pray. I'm like, I'm so thankful that I know the Lord. Because if I didn't know the Lord, I would be like, I would be in complete shock. And I would be like, you see, that's the reason I don't go to church. And it can turn people away because these people are supposed to be leaders. They're supposed to walk and be that Jesus that people see. For those who don't know Jesus, they can look at these pastors and they can tell that the Spirit of God lives inside of them. But they didn't behave that way. And I don't remember what all that I said, but I know that because <laughs> it was guided by the Spirit. So... I was just in complete shock because that type of behavior can just, it makes a bad impression and it was just very shocking. And so the Lord revealed to me, you know, 
the fruits of some of these pastors. Though I was shown that, I was also given a special word for myself. But, um, and this is what happened. Three days ago to that event, I prayed for the Lord to help me, to use me, to use me as he see fits, to glorify him, you know, to stir up my spiritual gifts for his glory and um, to, to strengthen me and allow me to be of maximum service to him and to, to give me that boldness to talk about him. And, you know, because I that fear and that t timid spirit can enter and you know, so I'm like, Lord, you know, just take control. Just let it happen. Holy Spirit, just just help me. And he did. And I was able to minister to these other pastors and, and preachers of what happened. Like, and I was speaking the word of God. Like, it is true. Like, when you are on trial... In, in, in the court, when you are on trial, you know, the Holy Spirit will completely take over if you feed yourself with it. If you feed and you read and you study and you chew and you soak up that word of God, you know, the Holy Spirit will just completely take over and you'll be nothing but a body <laughs> because God has just consumed you. And it was pretty, pretty much that is what happened. <laughs> And uh, but before that, you know, I wake up and I do my devotional. Sometimes I don't do it immediately when I wake up, but I try to. <laughs> um, I always like try to center my mind on Christ because if it's not on Christ, and if I don't, if I don't put on the armor of God, evilness can creep in so quickly, and perversion can enter my mind and. Next thing I like, I'm just, I start going down this other path and I'm like, no, 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 Lord, bring me back, bring me back. And, you know, I'm, and so, I mean, it, it happens if you don't center your mind on Christ first, always. And so on that day, I was listening to my worship music on the bus on the way in and I, you know, I had them in and I also opened up my Bible and I was reading and I was soaking up scripture and, you know, so he was, I'm being filled, filled, filled with the truth and the love and the word of God. So the more you seek him, the more you want to seek him. And it will show by the way that you live, by your lifestyle, by the words that you speak, you know, and, um, it, it really showed that day. I was shocked. And if you ask you shall receive and if you knock the door will open and if you seek him you will find him because he doesn't want to hide himself from you the devil makes you think that he is hiding but truly god is right there and he is waiting with open arms to be in communion with you so uh, that's my story um god bless you and i'll talk to you later Bye bye